Jesus. in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The viewers all over the world, welcome to Cherish Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Makananisa. And with me here today is my family who had an opportunity of seeing both the Apostle and Prophet Andres one-on-one. -on -one. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Oh, my name is Musiso Sylvester Siaka. And I'm with my wife, Gwena Siaka. We come from Centurion, Gauteng. So what are the reasons or challenges that brought you here today? Well, um, we, we came here firstly just to seek the face of God because we've been wanting to come here since last year. We've been attending church here for some time now. Uh, but we felt that we needed to come and hear what God has to say to us concerning firstly our marriage and concerning our ministry. 
and uh, concerning the, the business and our careers as well. You, yes. you had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andres Simon one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said when he saw you and please confirm it. Now the Prophet pointed at me and uh, he talked about the business that I wanted to start, which is a real estate business. And uh, he said I needed the grace of God for, for that business. And for me, it came as a surprise because it was something that I was thinking about, wanting to do. In actual fact, I had already started it, but I, I was not comfortable in my heart to say it's, this is what God wanted me to do. But uh, when he pointed at me, located me, and spoke that, uh, you know, about that business, then I understood that that was the will of God for me, uh, doing that business, yeah. Well, he spoke about a lot of things, but precisely, um, he spoke about the, the gift that God has given me in terms of the ministry. He said that uh, God has got a plan for me uh, in terms of the ministry that he wants me to do. Also... He spoke about my, my wife uh, to say that uh, he sees a car that is coming. We've been trying to apply for a car because now the family is growing. We want a bigger car, but we've been struggling, you know. But then he, he, he then indicated that uh, he sees a big car and that car is coming our way. So we are thankful for that and we thank God that indeed uh, the servant of God hears from God. And indeed, you know, God is going to do what he had promised us to do. Yes, thank you. So, Ma, how long have you been trusting in God for a car? I think it's um, from last year. Was it last year, October? Or Yeah, we, we, we actually applied for a car last year and we did not qualify. And then we applied for it again this week on Monday. And then there was like negative response from the dealership and strange enough the, the insurance people called me and confirmed the insurance without me having a car, you understand? And then um, it was strange that, you know, uh, Prophet Andres actually, you know, uh, said that he sees a big car, you know. Yeah, so it was a confirmation that irregardless, you know, the big car is really coming our way and for sure we'll give a testimony in the next service. Amen. Okay, the other one that uh, uh, Prophet Andres highlighted was the issue of promotion that I've been, you know, I've been in one position for a long time, of which is true, I've been applying, and I did mention that I've, I've been applying, I'm even tired of applying because I'm currently doing two jobs, and then he, he did mention that I will get a promotion, and I believe that I will get a promotion and come back with a testimony. Thank and you. again, he, he did pray for me, you know, he, he delivered me. I, there was a spirit that, you know, he delivered me from, yes, the, yeah, yes. Yeah. No, uh, also, uh, my wife has been having challenges with uh, stomach problems. So she's been complaining about, um, uh, you know, pains here yeah, in her tummy and all of that. So uh, the prophet was able to locate that. And it did indicate that, uh, you know, there was a spirit of witchcraft from the family where they were giving her food at night when she was sleeping, you know. And what used to happen is that when she eats that food, that food comes and stays in the stomach. And as a result, she's having those pains. And uh, also, there was an issue of bleeding, you know, because she used to have a lot of bleedings, like the menstrual cycle and all of that. So and those bleedings went abnormal in a sense because you know when, you, when she's in a cycle then it stops but this one sometimes it would go on and on and on so he located that as well then he prayed for her and she was delivered from from the spirit yes you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the apostle one-on-one -on -one. so i'd also love that you kindly please tell us what he said when he saw you guys and that you please confirm it I went to the specialist I've been doing the <laughs> Don't you believe it? <coughs> this thing that they put in there will come. <coughs> can, you, can you take a slip chair up to go and go it outside? <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
first thing you know that uh, um, Apostle mentioned was um, the, the I had a big issue and you know I didn't know what it was all about and I, I actually told my husband this morning that you know I think I need to mention the, the, the issue of the back pains that I have and I did not mention it but he was able to you know to tell me that I see you have you know back <laughs> issues you know and yeah I don't know my husband can then continue. Uh, the Apostle confirmed what the Prophet told us actually in terms of the the gift of the ministry that God has got a plan for us to do this but you are saying the reason why uh, there's been a challenge in that area was because there's a witchcraft spirit that comes from the f family, my wife's family, uh, because there's a lot of uh, witchcraft that has happened where uh, most of the people in a family have been wished or bewitched, you know. So as a result, that spirit is trying to block also the ministry that you're supposed to, 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 to start. So that, those are the things that he, he mentioned, and I think for us it's also a, a confirmation because we know that the God has has given us a gift, but it has been a challenge to follow up on that. On that, yes. How do you, how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? No, we feel so much great uh, that we had this opportunity, and we'd also want to you know invite other people as well that if you. Uh, facing challenges in your life, you know, it's better to come and seek the mind of God from the apostle and from the prophet as well. And we believe that God will be able to, you know, to come through for you and, uh, and answer those questions that you have. Yes. Yeah, no, uh, from my side, you know, um, I would say that um, don't take it for granted when things are not happening in your life. You need to come to Charis Missionary House because, you know, as black people, most of us, you know, we, we are affected by the issues of witchcraft. So I would love to encourage, you know, all of us to come here, you know, so that we can be delivered from all these spirits, you know, that come from our families, you know, and be free. Uh, Mina, I am free today. I am free and delivered and I'm happy.